Hi everyone, this is the video directions for the calendar project um, for Win. So if you chose the calendar project, then you're looking at something like this. Um, there's some written directions for you in the slide, but I'm gonna walk you through how this will work. So how you will start is just edit this slide to give it a title. So maybe you wanna call it Summer Fun. It doesn't matter and add a picture. Uh, if you look at my example, um, it starts with the timeline at the top, but scroll down to the bottom and you'll see Miss Murphy summer calendar example. And so this is what you're going to be looking at in order to make your summer calendar. So you see my title slide has a picture and a title. So you're going to do the same for your uh, title slide. Um, and then we're going to jump right in. The directions are to think of a list of activities that you might enjoy doing this summer or something you might want to try um, and kind of brainstorm that list first. So if you're feeling kind of stuck with coming up idea with ideas, again, go back to my example because I have uh, two slides worth of ideas. Um, and if you can come up with your own, that's even better. Um, but feel free to borrow some of my ideas if you are feeling a little bit stuck. So I brainstormed a bunch of ideas here. Um, the first thing that I recommend you do is go to your calendar key slide. What you're going to be doing is brainstorming your ideas and then coming up with a picture to represent that idea. So if you're like, oh, I want to read this summer at least a couple days, um, hopefully every day, but... Um, I definitely want to spend like a day reading. Then you can use a book to represent that as your activity for that day. And I'm going to show you how you can make a key and how you can put this in a calendar. So the first step is to go to your calendar key and come up with a list of ideas. So let's do reading. I'm going to select this and hit underline because I don't want it to be underlined. I'm going to put an equal sign because I'm going to eventually find a picture that I want to use for reading. Um, so I'm thinking about reading. Maybe I want to spend a day taking pictures of my home, my town, or my city. Maybe I want to spend a day cleaning my room. Maybe I want to spend a day doing a movie marathon. You can come up with a huge list of things that you might want to do this summer um, and feel free to explore online, look at my examples for your list of things. And now the next step is to come up with a picture. So let's go ahead and uh, go to insert. So if you see up here, I click insert and then image because we want to do a picture. I just did search the web because I used images from the internet but if you want to use your own pictures, you are welcome to do so. So I'm going to click image, then search the web. And you'll see I have a Google search engine pop up right here that I can use. And let's do reading. So for reading, I want a book. So I'm going to type in book. Now one thing that you can also do is type in transparent. And look, it pops up for you because it knows it transparent background. What that does is it makes sure the picture doesn't have like a white background and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see they're kind of clip art books so I'm going to use this one and all you do is drag it over to the slide. See how it's just the book and it doesn't have any white background like right here? That's why I did the transparent background. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. If that is not what you want to do, don't worry about it. Just choose any picture that you like. And you're going to want to make it relatively small, kind of about this size, and then put it next to the word that it represents. So reading, boom. Now my next step would be I'm going to click the picture, the small picture I made, and copy it. Now you can do that by right-clicking and doing copy, or you can hit Command-C. And then scroll down to your July and August calendars and you're gonna paste the book on the days where you wanna dedicate to reading. So I'm gonna hit Command V or you can hit right click and paste. And I wanna read 
on Saturday. I'm going to paste it again. And Saturday the 18th. So maybe every other Saturday, I'm going to go into August now. I'm going to put this book so that every other Saturday, I'm going to dedicate to reading. Okay? So see how that is now planned out. So now when I get to that those days on my calendar, I'm going to say, oh, I should take some time to read today. That'll be like my activity I focus on. Um, you can do this any way you want. If you want to read three times a month every day, um, that's great. But I would cho choose just a handful to use your symbol for. Don't fill up the whole month with books because then that's not really going to help you organize a fun, um, creative summer. So let's do another one. Taking pictures of the city. So you probably will take pictures with your cell phone, but I'm just going to take the word book out here and type in camera, and I'm going to leave transparent background. Boom. And I want to pick a fun-looking camera. Um, ooh, this old-timey one looks kind of fun, so I'm going to pull that in um, because why not? You'll see the white background is gone. I don't really, I'm going to make it nice and small. I don't really want this photography word next to it though. So if you're some, you find a picture where you don't want a part of it in it, here's what you can do. You can crop it. So if you click the picture and go up to this symbol right here that looks like a little box, it says crop image. So you're going to click that and you can drag these little black borders in by clicking and dragging and it will cut off pieces of your picture. So I clicked out of it and there you go, photography, that word is gone. If I click back on the picture, you can move it around and it's gone. So that, But if you wanna recrop it and fix it, you can always go back and do that. But I'm happy with the way it looks. I'm gonna copy it and then I'm going to paste it and move it around. I have to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, July 1st is when I want to do that. And maybe you just want to do that one day, and that's fine. Um, and then you would go on to do this for your other ideas and fill up your calendars. You can make another page of calendar keys if you need to. So I gave you two pages to do that, but if you just hit the um, plus sign, you can change the background to anything. Oops. You can change the background to anything that you want. Um, if you need more slides, that's fine. So I'm going to take us back to my example. You can see that I filled up my calendar key, two pages of it, with lots of ideas summer school, grilling, video games, cooking, art, um, babysitting. And then I just gave you one example of a month of me spreading out all those activities across a month. So on Friday the 3rd, I have to babysit, but then I'm doing a movie marathon the next day. So you can see, you can fill up your days however you want. I would try to make it as realistic as possible. If you really have to babysit on every Thursday, then put that in there. Um, if you know that you're going on a road trip, put that in there. If you know that you have to spend your day with your family on Sunday, do that. Um, and I think this will be a really useful, fun way for you to plan out your summer. And also think of kind of creative things that you can use, do this summer, um, and kind of set little goals for yourself to try. So be creative. Um, your goal is to fill up every day on your calendars. And I would say you need at least 10 pictures. So you need 10 different activities. Um, so that's your challenge for this one. And um, if you have any further questions, please reach out. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. Make sure you use this video and my example calendar to help you make yours. Be creative and have fun.